Hello friends, foes, and other watchers on the internet. My name is Matt, you're watching Hogwash Gaming, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to read one of these. It's a D&D uh, &D character sheet. And sometimes when you look at something with this much information on it, it can be a little overwhelming. Like you've got this over here, and this here in the middle, and then these things written down here. And maybe it's because you had someone else fill it out for you. Um, maybe you filled it out, but you didn't know what you were doing. So this will help you not necessarily know what everything is, but to know where to look when you have one of these. So let's get started with this group up here. All right, this stuff is important information, but it very, very rarely comes into play during the actual game, necessarily. Mechanically, anyway. So, you're a rogue, you're a thief. Okay, so that's that's your class and level. Um, and then you've got your race, your alignment, your background. This is stuff that helps you build your character and know how to play it as role-playing goes. A lot of this is information for you as a player when you're leveling up, when so someone's like who whose character is this it has the player name here um it has the character name here so you know which sheet it is yeah it's it's basically information of that sort not necessarily mechanical so let's move on to the next group all right so this group is where you have the ability scores here okay so this is telling you what is my character good at? You've got acrobatics, you've got insight, you've got perception and stealth. It has the languages down here and what tools you have that are that you are proficient in and what weapons you can have. You know, so so stuff that you're trained in and this is how good you are at certain things. Um like let's say um, the DM said, okay, you get hit by poison, make a constitution save. Well, where would you find that? Right here, saving throws, constitution, all right? And if you have proficiency in it, it adds a plus two. So you should, when you're filling things out, already add in your proficiency bonus to the things down here. So then you're not going, okay, so, so... Uh, I have proficiency in it, so that's in, that's charisma plus my proficiency, that's a plus two. No, it should be filled out right here. If you don't have it filled out, please fill it out. It, it makes things run a lot faster. But this is where you look if you are asked to make a check of some sort. If it's a strength check or a dexterity check or constitution check, intelligence check, wisdom or charisma, then you look at these big ones and if it's more honed skill not necessarily an attribute but a skill like perception or sleight of hand it would be down here so saving throws up here skills here basic description here pretty easy and of course languages and weapons etc etc all right my point is if you're in combat, you shouldn't be looking over here to add anything because it should already be filled out here. This is the stuff you need to know when you're locked in combat. You need to know what you add to the roll for your attack and then which dice to roll and what to add for damage. That's, that's here. You don't have to go over here to find any of that stuff because it's already here. Don't look over here. Don't look over here. Unless you're doing something that you're like jumping over the character, you, you know, you're jumping over your enemy, which would require an acrobatics check. You know, you don't need to look over here for anything. All right, um, also in this area is how many hit points you have, basic, and how high the enemy has to roll to hit you and your initiative and how far you can move each turn. All of this stuff is combat based. Um, this stuff, hit dice, that's a weird mechanic that um, 
helps you regain hit points, but that's on a short rest, and it had to go somewhere, I guess. And then death saves here, like if you're dying because you ran out of hit points up here, then you start down here. Now, is that all you need to know during combat? Not really. Um, and that leads us to our next group, which is this. This is all of your special features and all of the things you are carrying. You might have health potions down here in the equipment. You might have potions of invisibility, stuff that's important like that. Um, so you need to keep your eye here, but this isn't going to tell you how hard you're going to hit somebody. Over here is where you would put your special features or your special abilities granted by your class or race. Um, these won't necessarily be about combat, but you need to know them during combat. Oops. So, like sneak attack here. You need to know what a sneak attack is and how it works. And then cunning action is stuff you can do during combat as a bonus action opposed to a regular action. So, so this is a good place to put things like if you're running a paladin to put your spells, lay on hands, that kind of thing. Basically what I'm saying is if you are looking here for combat and then just here to supplement combat, that's all you need to look at. You don't need to be looking up here to see how many hit points you have or how hard a sword is going to hit. Don't even look up here. This stuff, you don't need to look at it because you've already worked it out here. All right? So, hopefully that helps you while you're looking at your character sheet. I've just seen some new players not sure where to look when they're told to make a check, like a a uh, saving throw or a perception check it's it's on this side not over here and not over here and not over here okay hopefully this is helpful I'm not calling you guys idiots I'm just trying to give you a good visual thing like middle is combat left is your abilities the lower right is your special abilities and yellow is just background stuff so hopefully that helped you. Hopefully it didn't come across as like you are you you guys don't know what you're talking about. Hopefully it comes across as something that you can use and will help you just be familiar with your character sheet. So when you're using your character sheet, it's not confusing. And until next time, this is Hogwash. Over and out. I'll catch you later.